Oh, so I thought I might do a couple of vlogs for the experience. Um, I may as well, mightn't I? So I'm just using my front camera. Let me. There we go. Just done this look. Um, this is the UV look. Pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm basically just going to have a little play around now with the clips that I just got. I've still got uh, some of my outfits came, which I think I'm going to use. My wig came today as well. So uh, I'm just going to make like do a couple little videos like this as I do it. Um, and vlog the experience and see how good it goes. So this is going to glow in the dark and it's going to be real neon. It's weird posting a look and then not posting it online onto Instagram. Um, because it's obviously all staying secret so that it can all be released at once. But yeah, so just gonna have a play around with them now. I've got like a good idea of what I want to do with these clips at the minute. But this is this one up close if you'd like to see. Just use my Duraline mixed with neon pigments to create them and then same on the lips. This is not a practical lip color because it's very uncomfortable. But it works for the look. So this is the one that I know will come together really well. It's fully in my control. Um, I just know it's going to end up looking sick. I've got my UV lights. I just have these little UV lights that I got off the internet, off of Amazon. Um, and I put them around my mirror to make it glow. And it comes out so cool. I love how it looks. This one is no, it's going to come out well. So I'm just going to film um, some little extra posy bits. Put the song on, sing along to it, and then I'll just chop up the footage, pick out the best bits, and then they'll be in the way. Yeah. So once you've got, once I've got start on the film, and that's when things will roll, and I'll get a proper hang of it. Um, it's more, it's more that this stuff is like I can really do dynamic camera angles with, because I can move with my hand. It's the other things that's going to be different. No one has a camera just sat there, and then someone's moving in it. Do you know what I mean? Got to get my mum to film bits for sure. <laughs> Um, just so it moving around a lot because you just if you've got a stationary camera that's when it's gonna look really cheap. One of my outfits I think I'm gonna wear came before, so I'm gonna um prop that's gonna be like my boy look I think. So the boy look will be easy because obviously I'm not gonna wear much makeup. Probably gonna put some glasses on so there's not much to it. But yeah, so this bit done. Well, we'll be done in a sec, and yeah, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Next bit. It's going to take me a while to get all this done, but yeah. So I decided I was going to start vlogging kind of after I'd already done the um, cover. But just if anyone's interested to, all I did was I literally used my phone, my phone, my phone, my phone voice recorder, film a load of clips and then just drop them in and cut them down. I got a backing track off uh, YouTube. So that's the backing track track. These are the vocal tracks. All cut up and put in the right place. I literally just recorded each bit of the song. And then put it in. And then there's a certain amount of mastering you can do. You can only do so much. You can't add auto tune or nothing like that. Unfortunately. <laughs> but there's a certain amount you can do to just boost clarity. And then this is the background vocal track as well. So you can kind of. I'll play a little bit so you can hear it. That's where the ears come in. I'm a working bitch, ain't got no time for this. See what I mean? So you can see where each part of it is distinctly. But yeah, that's just a little rundown of how I did it. There are obviously a lot better ways to edit vocals and stuff. Premiere Pro is more of a video thing, it's not designed for that. But I'm no pro, I'm no expert, I just did what I could with it, and you can export them as mp3s as well, so you can basically just get the song, um, but yeah, so that's just a little rundown of how I did that, it took a while, um, and then I added certain things, like a lot of, a little bit of reverb on the vocals, and quite a lot of reverb for the underneath, um, for the background vocals, just so they sound a little bit more robotic, but yeah, so that's basically just how I did the vocals for it all. And I've got them unlocked so I can't change it now that's officially done. But yeah, so I, should, I guess I could have showed the process, but I've just decided to vlog now. So yeah, there you go. Oh, I just shaved my own hair for um the filming today. It had to be done. I had a proper short back and shit, she's not well. They weren't okay at all. But I've not done too bad. Look, I'm moving the middle. Oh, you can proper see though. 
Um, hold on. There we go. I don't think that's too bad a job, that. Little, tiny little bit of a fade on it. Obviously, I haven't shaped it much, but... I'm quite chuffed with myself there. Luckily, it's quite easy, but I think it's got a decent fade on it, me. I made up with myself. So, yeah, so... I couldn't be looking a proper show on camera, could I? Especially... This look's going to be quite boy-heavy, so I need to look the best I can as a boy. But, yeah, so... That's done now. Got to go do my makeup. I'm going to do um, a neutral and pastel blue look to go with the outfit. I'll do a video of the outfit I'm wearing as well. But, yeah. So, I'm wearing this little pastel blue two-piece. These are just from Boohoo Man, like the Quaver collection. But they're proper unreal. I love them. Nice material as well. The, the whole collection is really nice, but uh, most of it was sold out also. So... I'll have to keep checking. They said it's going to be restocked. I messaged them and asked. But yeah, I've got to wear this. I bought some socks as well. But they proper and not the same blue. I wanted to put like on long blue, like blue socks. But they're like a lot more like turquoisey. Because he's like pastel. But um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Just completed the look for the first little shoot I'm going to do. Isn't this stunning? Proper gorge. I've got like a blue outfit. I'll show you it in a sec on. But... These lashes as well, they're dead fluffy, I wanted something a bit fluffier. His face dead nice and dewy, left me facial hair on, so like, it's a little bit more boyish. <laughs> Got some product in my hair to give it raw volume, I just hope my um, wrinkles don't come out too much, but yeah, I'm feeling this look for the week. I hope they all come out this good. And then this is the full outfit. It's got my white shoes on there, filthy ass though, but oh well, it'll do. And then yeah, just blue, I think it looks sick. Oh, I'm excited. Fab. I'm also going to switch between uh, sunglasses and not. I'll get some like real close-up shots like this. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. Fab. These go dead well. That's the direction the sun's coming from. So I'm going to film it in this spot. I like the plants in the background. I'll get the... Uh, what's it called? The sun lounger. And then use that. But... Yeah, I think this is quite nice contrast with the blue on me clothes a bit. I love this eye look though. I hope the sun doesn't make the shots dead weird though. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Alright, so this is the outfit I'm going to wear for the red look. So the main piece is this jacket. Oh, look at that. Isn't it just stunning? It actually says Happy Halloween on it. <laughs> I didn't realise that when I bought it. But I don't care. I just fell in love. It's like graffiti. And then it's got these cool like tassels underneath. Yeah, I'll hang it up so you can have a look. Look at that, see? So cool. Ignore me. <laughs> I've fully got my underwear on. But look at the tassels. I think they look sick. So I'm going to wear that. Then to go with it. I got this top as well. Just like a plain black top with like the red square and then these cool strap details as well. So everything's kind of themed because to go with that. And then I have these pants. I wore these for my 25th. Am I 25? Yeah, 25. 25th. They went down a treat. They're so nice. Got like these nice little claps, uh, clasps on it. And then like this red camo just lying in the pocket. Oh, I love them. So the whole thing is quite themed, I think. Unreal. Yeah. Proper nice outfit. Like, this is a proper winter shopping outfit. You know what I mean? Like, when you when it starts to get a bit chilly. Or well, winter, autumn starts to get a little bit chilly. And you want to go out and look fresh. You want to be comfortable as fuck. Because these are just like, um, like joggers. And then it's just like normal material. And then instead of lightweight, all of it is from AliExpress. Literally, like, most of the stuff I get these days. Ignore me, Robin. Well, um, yeah, most of the stuff I get these days is from AliExpress. Um, because you just get some boss stuff for so cheap. Like, it's so cheap. I think the jacket was 40. The pants were, like, 15. And the top was, like, 10. The only problem is, obviously, because it's Chinese sizes, so you've got to be real careful you're getting the right size. Um, there's been a couple of times when I bought stuff and it's just not fitted because it's so cheap. You don't really mind buying it again. Do you know what I mean? As wasteful as it sounds, but 
Yeah, so just it's normally go two sizes bigger than your actual size is what I'd recommend. But sometimes you even have to go even more. And then sometimes it'll fit you fine. So anyway, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's going to be that outfit. Sweet. Then I'm going to film the second look, the red look down here. Just so it changes up the scenery a bit. That's going to be more of like... More of a winter look in it because I've got a coat on. So I've chosen the area a little bit more like... Dingy, I guess is the word. Because <laughs> it's not exactly clean down here. It's just like my back gate. That's like my front door there. But yeah, I think. I don't know, just the aesthetic. The aesthetic's going to be cool. I'm like walled in so I can like use the walls for me choreography. <laughs> but um, yeah. I think it just changes it up because then you got like the nice sunniness of me decking, but then it's like a little bit more raw, if that makes sense. Cool. Oh, I realised I um, forgot to vlog today. I've still got the look on. I leave, I leave my makeup on all day when I do it. Oh, it took me lashes off though, couldn't be asked with them. But yeah, I put the look on me Instagram anyway, properly, but I pulled it up like really far. Just for a bit more drama, because it's got to translate better on camera. But yeah, it came really well. When I'm filming it, I was like, oh, I'm really not sure how this is gonna look when it got filmed. But when it gets jumped, cutted, it just flows. It just really seems to work, and I'm so happy. So yeah, tomorrow is gonna be like the last one and the hardest one. Um, oh, I'll try and remember to properly vlog that one. Um, but yeah. I never put a wig on before properly, properly, like glued it down. So that'll be an experience. But yeah, for me drag look, I'm gonna wear this absolute beauty. It's like a lime green fluffy duffel coat. So stunning, isn't it, Fab? Mate, Laura, got two. I think a fella bought a two and she had one spare. So I was like, I will absolutely have that. Thank you very much. Love it. And then, of course, I got these to go with it because I just do not long green. But I got this to go with them, these shoes. They're slightly big, but they'll do. And then I'm just going to wear, like, I've got this really long, like, slim black top with long sleeves, which you can, it's so long, I can just kind of pull it down to make it look like a mini dress. It's not really, you could not wear it out. Like, it's way, way, way too short. It rides up so much, but... Gets the job done. You're not going to really see that anyway because the coat's too big. But yeah, I'm excited. It's all going to come together super well. I think I've got a nice balance of colours. I've got my blue look, I've got red, and I've got green. So it just makes it all look nice and colourful, doesn't it? Yeah. And then, of course, I've got like the blue and orange and the neon with the eyes. So yeah, I'm excited. That was hard work. These wigs are not, it's so hard to do. Look at the bad, bad that lace is, oh my god. I'm hoping I can find that with makeup, otherwise... This is not going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> to blend, ugh. And if I just put loads of foundation over it, it should hide it, shouldn't it? Concealer. I don't know. If not, that, like, oh, it's so bad. How do people blend it? I don't want to cut it loads shorter. Because then you cut away too much, and then like, I can snip the area when <laughs> trying to cut it behind me here. This is so much hard work. I don't know, hopefully it'll come together. But yeah, it's gotta be done today. Come on, we can do it. <sighs> She's done, finally. You know what, the hairline, I was worried about it, but considering it's gonna be just on video far away, you're not even gonna notice. But yeah, <laughs> unreal. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of this. My edge is not laid <laughs> at all, <gasps> but, woo, it's done. Done like a cat eye, to really feminize myself, made my face dead on gold, you know what I mean? Just so I look really feminine. Yeah, oh, can't wait, it's gonna be fun. So, my drag look's gonna be filmed on here. Hello, look at you, gagging on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna film it in the corner here. I've got the same blue cushions that I had for, um, like the sun lounger that's gonna go up there. I think it looks sick. Just with like the green in the back. I mean, I've had to move all that out of the way because it's fully in the way, but 
yeah gonna film in there just like me in the corner i think it'll look flash i'm proper excited but yeah i've got a nice garden which helps a lot <laughs> looks like a proper music video and that's officially a wrap everyone it's done so now i can oh. <sighs> so good to take that off oh get off me head look at that <laughs> i am not that good <laughs> To be fair though, my body is more well, just my face isn't. But ugh, yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with how it's come out. The shots and stuff. I did it once and then realised I'd done it on this side, but this is my good side, so I was like, why haven't I not filmed on this side? So I have to film on this side then. Um But yeah, no, it come out really good. The pictures are sick. So I guess just edit them now. But I'm getting to get all this off my face though. This is like cement. <sighs> Look at that, can't breathe. But yeah, made up. For anybody who's interested, I used Adobe Premiere Pro to um, edit the video. That is literally the video in <laughs> sequences in your cope. It looks mad, doesn't it? Oh, so much work put into that. Look at all those jump cuts. So it works in priority. So the top row is the one that you see, and then it goes down from under that. But yeah. That is the whole video, just right there. You can see you've got all the sound underneath, which is the track which I locked, and then the rest of it's the video. But yeah, super, super proud of myself. I'd, I'm really glad that I decided to do this. Ash Nico, you're the queen. <laughs> right, well, it's officially edited. I can't cope. It's crazy to think <laughs> that was a lot, so much work. I've been thinking about it like non stop, but getting it done. And like it's just done now. So like, it's just gonna get uploaded tomorrow. Um, yeah, this is like the final little vlog, I guess. Well, it's gonna get uploaded tomorrow. Probably do about 8 o'clock ish. Um, just because that's when we're super active. I think I'll post it straight onto Facebook first. And then I might be able to, I'll see if I can upload it to IGTV. I don't know if they can do it for that long, but we'll see. And I'm obviously going to put it on YouTube. But I think Facebook is probably the place where it could get the most traction if it's going to get any. I'm not doing it for that. I literally just did it for myself. But yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, I know there were some points when I didn't like vlog as thoroughly as I could. I just like, I forgot that I was doing this sometimes. <laughs> so um. I might go back and put in a couple snippets of like me outfits and stuff that I chose. Um but honestly I'm so happy that it's come together the way it has. It's literally done come out so good and I'm proper proud of myself. I've properly made use of time. <sighs> so yeah. Um hope everyone enjoys it who saw it. And uh, one thing I've not been doing now is Working, bitch. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that for a while. <laughs> right. Enjoy.